So, hey guys, Chauza here. And yeah, this will be my May to June metal shop uh, rankings. And yeah, I'm start I've started to do this between months now because you should only spend your medals between two batches because then you have twice as many units to evaluate, you can make better decisions. So I strongly advise only spend your medals between two batches. So yeah, let's go and talk about the May June uh, rankings. And yeah, I'm going to try and be a bit faster this time. I'm going to summarize each ranking, maybe say a little bit about each unit. So we'll start at the bottom. And yeah, this is like the lowest value. They don't add so much to the team. It's only if you lack very few legends. We have uh, the powerhouse version of V2 Lucci. And yeah, for this tire list, or rankings, it's not a tire list. For this rankings, I decided to add both the normal 6 star and the 6 plus if they differ significantly. So yeah, Lucci does that. And yeah, basically if you already have a V2 Lucci, you don't really need to get another one. The base 6 star is powerhouse focused, doesn't really do anything special. Uh, support is just stat boost. Jinbei as well, just a stat boost. Very replaceable unit. If Jinbei ever gets better support, he will probably be more valuable. But right now, very not high value. Moving on, and this is if you have a good metal stack. So you... It's not a waste of medals, but of course, if you don't have that man, you should probably save them up for something better. We have stuff like we 2 Doffy, still the best at what he does. It's just uh, rarely I need to use him. We have Magellan, he's also one of the best poison users. He, his poison is very good and I also gives some healing. One of the best stat supports too. But yeah, just using a special for poison and healing is not that usual, useful in many situations. We have Zephyr, very unique special, just not that useful. Cool support as well, can be put on stuff like Iron for some block money, so yeah, he's not bad to have. We even Kusan, he's a pretty nice unit to like fill out some teams. He has a pretty unique special, they both uh, extending buffs and giving a chain lock and stuff doing some damage so yeah good to have but I've honestly never even used him maybe once or twice uh, then we have uh, we to law I should have put both six star and six plus we to law here but I'd but have both here anyway uh, the one boost boost striker one boost cerebral war boost some damage, so you can run the Sengoku support if you have it. Not a bad unit, just rarely sees any use. Seed is very high as well, unless you are limit break expand, so yeah. Uh, the, it, it, it actually has a very good support that you can put on Corazon though, so I definitely want one just for that, honestly. Uh, and then we have the We Won Sabo. Uh, like, we're getting a free-to-play version of him, basically, with the upcoming Raid Luffy. He is a pretty similar special, uh, similar classes and such, but yeah. <sighs> One of the best Luffy stat supports as well, but yeah. Attack boost only for free spirit is a bit whatever, but yeah. Moving on to good value, and this is the biggest category, so yeah. These are units that aren't a bad choice to spend medals on, but of course not as high priority as the ones above. First we have Luffy and Ace. Uh, Duo units are inher inherently the best subs. Luffy Ace is the oldest, but they are still usable today. Quick and Strength is a pretty unique duo typing. And yeah, they still manipulate orbs for free spirit. They give a universal orb boost, so... Yeah, I like them a lot. Like, I really, they were one of the last old legends I pulled, so I really missed them until then. Uh, then we have the uh, six star and six plus time skip Luffy, and they are only here for their support. And there's actually a good reason to own both because the six star gives beneficial orb support with some uh, slots. 
while the 6 plus time skip loop will give beneficial orbs for other slots. So by having both, you can get whatever slot you want matching whenever you want. Like you want strength matching this stage, you can bring one of them. You want int matching one stage, you can bring the other, obviously on different teams. But yeah, there are very few matching orb supports. So these two are very valuable. So I definitely consider getting them both. If you have the opportunity, that is. Uh, then we have Luchi. The 6 plus is mostly here for his support. 1.5 times color affinity final stage for shooters. Very useful. Special is uh, color affinity for shooters. So a bit niche, but it's fine. Uh, Brook. The best of the does. The only unit that can remove normal attack only as captain. Cool. Special. Brook has many good support. Yeah. Uh, Good unit to have in the box. Frankie, pretty cool support, can give attack boost. And special isn't bad, it's just super high CD. Unique captain, but you'll not rarely use it, but a good unit to have. Then we have the six star uh, gear for Luffy, the quick Luffy, and he's fine, he's an attack booster. Like if you already have Snake Man, you can consider getting. A copy of him just for the attack boost. Like it's a rainbow attack boost. It's a Luffy unit. Lots of Luffy support. It will definitely see use from time to time. Uh, then we have Judge. This is another unit where I should have put both the 6 star and 6 plus Judge. This is the first month where I do this. So I'll be more careful next month. But yeah I put the best one here. Because 6 star Judge is better than his 6 plus. The 6, star, 6 plus is pretty niche. Except for the captain ability with... Limit Brick Expansion, but yeah, 6 star Yudge, removes Bind by a lot, gives Ore Boost, yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, we're moving on to the amazing but high price category, we have 3 units here that all cost 400, but aren't the most used all of the time, but I still say that all 3 of these are good units to have for sure, like, I love the Wii 3 Admirals, like, at least, uh, we Triaki Inu is a great captain, super underrated. He will pair, pair very well with the upcoming versus Ace. Great special as well, setting depth to zero, self proccing conditional. And he also gives an attack boost to three colors, very cool. And yeah, of course, we Kusan has pretty good scenery with we Triaki Inu. We Kusan gives color affinity, war boost, easier perfect. If you had a uh, Kisunaka Inu, you can put the support on him for a chain lock. So he's a super good sub. Uh, and as captain, he's still the best chain captain in the game. It's just something many people don't like. So yeah, it is what it is. I really love him as that though. Komurasaki, actually getting a 6 plus in a few months on Global, where she will sh switch color to Int, but I wouldn't buy a dupe. For that just yet, that's a bit extreme. But yeah, pretty cool captain if you don't have better options. As a sub, she's mostly held back by not having indoors beneficial, so you have to solve that some other way. But yeah, the special is very good, like orb manip for all units. Two times attack to two colors, two times orb to two colors, super solid. Moving on to amazing value, and all of these are 250 cost, except for Kid, who is 400 cost. So I still felt like Kid should be get a special mention, because he's the first super type available on the metal shop in Global. I don't know why we skipped the uh, uh, first four, four super type units and jumped to Kid. But yeah, Kid, still good. Like, if you got, like, if you run him with a new Sorrow, they complement each other very well. And yeah, he's one of few units that has to use the bomb mechanic. And even as a support that makes bomb beneficial, which can be very nice the few times bomb is ever used. Like, it was useful in uh, like the last treasure map, for example. Very cool. Uh, he has a lot, a lot of cool applications, like a big uh, nuke damage if you set up to all like strength slot or deck slots, for example. I like using him a lot, like he's not the best unit, but he's very good to have, I'd say. And that goes for all of these, of course. Uh, if you go for Snake Man, 
Like, everybody should have him now. Like, if you're new, you should have re-roll for him. If you're not new, you should have got him from the uh, Choose Your Legend ticket we had, where you could pick him, like, a year ago. But, yeah, if you don't have him for some reason, very good still. Mostly as a sub nowadays, but he can see some use as captain as well. Uh, Baka, only a sub, one of the best subs. We lose a bit of value when, Ka when uh, Capone crew comes, since they are pretty similar. But, yeah, with the Driven Resurrection coming soon to Global as well, with versus Akainu mainly. Uh, Barton and Cavendish are going to be super good to have. One of the best swaps in the game. Special will be also good once you can run good driven teams. V2 Whitebeard. Uh, his 6 turn 6 plus are actually a bit different, but not enough to buy have two of him, I'd say. But the 6 plus is nice, can remove the spear by a lot. Also has a support that removes three turns of the spear. Super good. Uh, also can do a chain boost, can do an attack boost. Damage reduction, so very versatile special that boosts two classes, striker and powerhouse. So yeah, definitely a good unit to own both for uh, his, he, like he's not a bad captain, mostly it would be a sub though or a support. Cracker, amazing support that you can put on like Katakuri and Smoothie and such to remove chain lock and uh, uh, chain degrowth or chain growth reduction. He also has a very good special, chain boost, and color affinity for two turns. When he gets a sick plus, he'll also do some damage. You can put smoker support on him, or you can put the uh, Daifuku support on him. Super good. Pairs very well with We Tree Law, actually, who we'll talk about later. Like, if those two are subs together, they can, you can just speed their special up with their sailors, and they will be ready around the same time. And their specials just complement each other really well. Finally, Luffy Law. Not that good of a captain anymore, but as a sub, they are still crazy. Like, like one swap from Luffy Law and use their special can still destroy so many stages by itself by just ignoring defensive effects, giving yourself a 2 times attack boost, giving the whole team 2.5 times ore boost. One of the most fun lanes to oh, uh, to use, I'd say, still as a sub. And yeah, they still definitely see use as a sub, though, obviously. As a captain, not so much. Uh, top priority, we have the Candy God Chopper. This is the last chance to get these two. Both cost 400. Uh, like, they, re they re rerun on Sugos often, but, like, both are very nice to have. Like, Chopper, uh, he's mostly captain the farm cotton candy but you shouldn't sleep on his sub capabilities he's one of the most crazy subs in the game he's so splashable just put him in remove like everything by five turns he has good support like we want sunday to give some chain boost i have also been using these two a bit on chopper to give some beneficial orbs just a shout out to the timescape luffy so yeah very cool unit Definitely worth having in the box. And then We Three Law. Very good captain still. Not my favorite. But can consistently beat all content for sure. Uh, one of the best specials in the game. Will be good for a long time to come. He can be easily put on almost any team. Just for his uh, chain set uh, buff. For those that don't know, Law doesn't have a chain lock. He has what I call at least chain set. So it works like a chain lock. You start to chain somewhere, but unlike chain lock, chain set can still increase in chain. And it also stacks with chain boost, with chain multiplier growth, with sugar. So yeah, very good to just maximize chain. And chain is a big deal in getting damage. So Law will often be seen in Kizuna and such for top damage. But yeah, I feel like I've gone through enough here. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for someone. And I'll be back next month to compare to do the June and July medal shop list. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.